All right, guys, welcome to the channel, and we're going to be talking about scum today. I am a noob still. I got about 80 hours, so I'm just going to say some things that I wish that I knew before I started because it's super complex. Not only do you need to know the rules of, of sort of the game, but then there's different servers, and then there's different types of uh, admins, and there's obviously this guy's taking a poop here. The game is super crazy, man. This is a, I haven't watched this intro at all, so this is uh, crazy to me. Um, yeah, man, you get leukemia in the game. You have penises and vaginas, and um, yeah, you have to use the bathroom and eat, and you've got vitamins and everything that you got to worry about. It's, it's it's really weird. I mean, I think if you it's it's you know uh, are, are prudent and you go about it like in a really good uh, life living way, in a realistic way, you do very easily through it all. But they have all that stats there, and it just gets super complex and crazy. Um, now, I'm not a super huge fan of crafting games. I've almost been crafted out, but this one hits a little bit differently because of the realisticness. And, um, yeah, man, I actually get scared in this game. I, I uh, kind of hold my breath. Uh, it's taken a lot of hours out of me. Uh, there's not too many games that do that. I'm not a big gamer. No Man's Sky, Subnautica, you know, and then a lot of the older games, you know. So... This really uh, grabs home to me, and it has a lot of different uh, uh, things in it, and it's very complex. So there's a few different things that I would like to uh, walk through, and maybe a server that I would like to suggest for people. So yeah, you need to know the game. Uh, then there's different servers, and then you got to get on Discord, and yeah, it's uh, it was a little bit hectic to kind of understand, and, a lot, and you got people who have been doing it forever trying to explain it to you. So it's like, okay, well, you guys are talking to me like I'm dummies or something like that, you know. Uh, you know, like I asked the question 16 times. Uh, I don't know what the hell a, a, a whatever bot is, you know. Like, you know, it's, you know, they're they're explaining directions to you with more words that you don't know what the hell they are. What was that word? What does that mean? What does that word mean? You know. So, yeah, let me walk you guys through my experience uh, through uh, starting Scum and getting to my. Um, you know, where I'm at, my, my 80 hour mark here. So, uh, Scum is an open world game. So, you drop in and you are like a contestant in a game. Uh, and I guess there's cameras that watch you and things like that. And uh, they drop you off into this world. And you just kind of fall in. You, your hands are tied to your back and you are falling into this world. And you just randomly drop down. And I, I don't know, you could land right on a couple of zombies and die. Or you might get lucky. You might be near a city. It's so random and so weird. And, uh, you know, you start leveling up and getting uh, fame points. Now, if you die, you can keep your fame, which fame unlocks uh, abilities. You can start running faster, run longer. You know, the more you do something, the better you get at it. And the game records so many different pieces of everything i mean the weight of the uh the moisture in your clothing and, and stuff like that I'm, I'm i'm telling you it's so crazy in depth uh, and it takes a little bit to get used to it, it is a lot uh and that's just the game that's not even talking about the servers and the different kinds of uh things that i mean once you get into the game you're like uh, servers and then you read that uh this game you know they're they're run off a of private server so if you choose a server uh you know Choose one wisely with the with the way you want to play. So I like the one that I'm in right now. They keep it. Uh, they have like safe zones they have, uh, where you can build and nobody's allowed to mess with you. And they have rules like no ambushing the uh, the safe zones either. Uh, so and they give you daily uh, prizes. So like you know you have to get on to their Discord and you can like summon things right to right to you inside of your game. Like boom, they give you weapons and stuff like that. And uh, so it's kind of really cool. You got like this sort of god mode uh but you have to earn coins to even use it so that's another aspect to, to uh the whole game here so let's get into it let's let's talk about this so um uh, we talked about what kind of what it is, and now let's talk about. So when you open the game up and you go into it, you're gonna have to choose your character. You've got like, uh, you know, like I said, you get to choose your penis size and, and things like that. It's it's really weird, uh, and there's different ways to 
um, set your skills. I put mine way up on survival, and uh, some people talk about engineering to open up uh, um, uh, blueprints and things like that. So, uh, you know, it, definitely if you're in a team, it'd probably be best for one person to put these two uh, skill sets up because you only get a certain amount of points to spend on them. And then your partner would uh, get the skill sets for something else, and then you guys would complement each other with the way your style play is. So, but if you're by yourself, I don't know. You have to think about the which way you kind of like to play. Um, you know, I, uh, I I don't know how to tell you there. There's some videos of people who can go in more in depth on that. Like I said, I'm still a noob, just trying to help newbier noobs than me. So um, yeah. Um, yeah. So when you do get through all that and choosing, you can go into a single player game, which is just in your own little world. Uh, and, or you can go choose a server. Now there's different types of servers and each server is going to be different. They are ran by different admins and those admins can implement whatever rules that they want. Um, and there's, there's, there, they are in control of like God mode and, uh, everything else. We're going to kind of go into that too. So, uh, you know, they can have, uh, more loot that you find. Uh, there can be, there's these bots that are in there, these walking mechanical, uh, mech bots, uh, and some servers don't have them. Um, the one that I'm in is, like I said, it's very nice. So we're going to show you guys that right now. Uh, it's called NextGen. So let's go over here and check out NextGen here really quick. Uh, you can check it out in uh, uh, Discord. And maybe I'll put a link in the description there. Now, when I first got in here, I was a little bit confused. Uh, on the left-hand side, there's a welcome tab here. It tells you kind of like uh, it gives you links, but it's a lot to take in, and you're just like, I just want to play the game, man. I don't want to have to read uh, 14 different manuals and a manual for Discord and a manual for some bot thing, and, uh, you know, so you, you get overwhelmed with this very quickly. So maybe I can help you just kind of blaze through it really quickly, and if you're going to choose this next-gen server, uh, which is really cool. I like the admins. I like the, the perks and the things that you get you can call an uber from one side to another i mean you got to watch your coin so i mean you just can't do it all the time but uh you got daily prizes you got raffles and things like that that are in here so it's pretty cool so the welcome tab it's the welcome tab it's going to kind of give you the rundown kind of like what i'm doing right now i'm going to give you the welcome uh next underneath that is this uh server info it kind of tells you what is going on with this server uh it's out of chicago so depending on where you're at and you're paying you might not be able to use this one if you're on the other side of the pond but right now that's where i'm at and uh, i think they can kind of even tell you there's like a ping warning so anyway uh max allowed drones in the world they don't have drones in this one so there's no cameras that come up to you but you still get fame uh and there's maximum loot so you find a lot of stuff in this thing and, and you get going so um and anyway let me tell you a little a little trick about fame um fame is easy to harvest all you got to do is eat food uh if you pick bugs or fruit or anything else like that you'll find them at any of the cities uh just uh, and another secret is you got to double click it you can't drag and drop them you got to double click it for some reason it won't give you the fame points if you drag and drop i figured this out and i also seen it in a person's video too so a little tidbit right there write that down if you're going to go into it because the fame points are super easy i blazed past everybody i'm like number eight on the server uh right now and and it's all because i pick fruit and, and eat bugs <laughs> because they're free you know i mean i'm I, I'm not actually tasting it, so it's not gross to me. Uh, that's why I, I said I'm not going to say So announcements, uh, he kind of tells you what's going on uh, in the server, and there's been a few updates lately. We got a lot of these newer uh, Chinese outfits. If you're into that Fortnite skin type of things, I'm not. I'm more into gameplay, which it has a lot of it. So if they want to do little things like this, I'm fine with them doing it. I usually kind of complain about stuff like this uh, if when there's a broken game. But, man, fundamentally, the damn game works pretty fucking solid, man. Uh, patch notes, he's got his rules here. So here's the rules in here. Um, you know, no spawn camping. They're pretty good rules, you know. Like, you can play the game, you can kill people, but don't be an ass. And there is some things that you can do, like, you know, like, um, uh, you know, ambushing the uh, trading post because there's only a few different trading posts that, on corners of the maps on a huge map so you actually have to go travel far to get to these things. and a lot of them have like a bottleneck so it's kind of easy to and push people coming out of the uh, safe zone and you'd be kind of scummy if you're sitting there and i got killed 
only once, and that was the time that it was somebody who did that. So general chat, you have any questions and things like that, you'll see a lot of people come in here and uh, whatever. So open a ticket. If anything ever happens to you, something uh, uh, weird. Um, I've had a few things happen to me, but nothing enough to where I was going to be like, I'm going to write a ticket about that. But some people get take this shit seriously. So, hey, something disappeared on you weirdly. Um, you can write a ticket. Now, let me say this here. This game has 20,000 different ways to lose shit, okay? When you have your gun in your hand and there's not enough room in your backpack and you pick up an apple, you set the gun down on the ground. Now, you walk away eating that apple, you don't have your gun anymore. Now, it doesn't seem that obvious to you, but in real out, I mean, that's how it is. I mean, there's some things that are just, they're just like almost too, <laughs> just too on point, you know? Uh, and that's kind of one of them, man. There's 20 different ways to lose things, man. I, I almost opened a ticket one time because I thought I lost money, but turns out someone killed me and t stole my bank card. So bank cards are another thing too. So if, I think if you get a bank card, be careful with that. I would get the uh, bigger bank card if you can. Uh, it has a two pen because the original one only has a one pen. So it's pretty easy to get three tries out of 10. So you got a pretty decent chance on getting it. And I would probably say it's probably zero or one of the closest numbers to the uh, to your fingers over here. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, there's a tab here that says looking to group up. I'm, I'm about there, but I'm pretty picky about who I want to play with. So I don't know about that. Maybe I'm looking to my channel for one of you guys to play with here. So um, now here's the bot guide on how to use the bot. Now there's a bot in Discord that connects to the game. Okay, so when you come in here and you get a, uh, uh, you can get a welcome pack. You get some things, and sometimes you win stuff. So the bot is where you're, what is controlling this. And uh, there's some videos in here on how to use slash commands and how to. Uh, uh, the welcome pack command is now a slash command. So you'll get a, you'll get a command uh, when you get in here, and I'll show you guys how to do that here in a minute. There's some polls and poll results. Uh, uh, that's self-explanatory. Uh, 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 um, here is some quick buttons. So here's the scumbot section. This is kind of important and it's a little confusing, but here's the scumbot section. So when you first get in here, you can get your daily package, which I, which is really cool. Watch out where you get your daily package. Don't just hit it anywhere. Sometimes there are guns and things like that, but sometimes you're going to get like, I think the seventh one is a huge pack of like base building stuff. So if you're in the middle of nowhere and you're thinking that, you know, I'm just going to get a gun really quickly. Watch the hell out because you might get a full package of, uh, and then what are you going to do? You can't carry 40 logs, you know, you're, you're going to have to leave all that shit there. <laughs> and that sucks because that just happened to me yesterday. So uh, there's that. So here's your welcome pat. You'll you'll get like a, uh, a forward slash, uh, a little claim, and then some numbers. I'll show you guys what to do with that in just a minute. Uh, when you win a... Uh, a a raffle inside of the game will say lucky spin and they'll do these lucky spins here and you'll see here uh you know players winning things here and you'll put this in the slash too so that goes to your direct messages too even the welcome bot stuff too i think as well you have to go so you're in here and you're like what it's in your dms so you'll go up to your dms direct messages and you see the prisoner bot over here on the left hand side you'll open that and so you can see here that i've got these little claim numbers and things like that and that's how i'll get uh whatever it is in the game you can see i got a quick scope there i got 4k uh there's the negan package where you get a baseball bat and a cool jacket and stuff like that so you can go kick some ass and uh yeah that's pretty cool so you would come up here and and claim and, and copy these numbers right here and then i would go back in to the uh into here and we're going to go down to the uh, the uh, scum bot right here. And we'll go into command. Now in commands, we can just hit forward slash. And you can see that a lot of commands are coming up over the mirror. And you can see the claim right at the very top. That's the most used one. So you would just click this one. And then it's ready to take that number. And then you just hit control V. And, uh, you know, it would, it would type that in there. Yeah, that is how you claim a... Uh, a lucky spin or your new welcome uh, claim ticket. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, I wish I, I didn't know what the heck a new package was or how to get it or how to do any of this stuff. There was a video, but you're so overwhelmed by trying to figure out the game. You're like, I don't know about all this server stuff. I don't even know if I want to be in this server or not, but it's a nice server. The admins are pretty damn cool. Now, 
you get uh, uh, for playing, you get like, okay, so new players get like 10 tokens per minute as playing. Now, the longer you've been in there, the less coins you get. So new players are getting the most token, okay? You get enough tokens at the very beginning uh, just for joining. You get like 1,500. You could buy a car. You could buy some guns. You get a welcome package, which is a backpack. I mean, you're set up in this thing. I mean, you can go out and just kill somebody immediately. Um, and back to quick buttons here. Uh, at the top of the scumbot, we can check our account info here. Some money. I've got plenty of money in there. I'm a beginner. 11 days. Uh, you know, all that good stuff. And then you can um, check the server info. Uh, vehicle trade. I'm not sure exactly what that button is yet. I haven't used it yet. It might be some cool feature that I still don't know about. But I think I can get you guys far enough into the Discord here to get going. So you can see that I've got that 17,000 right there. So now we can go over here to the bot shop. You can see there's some vehicles for 10,000. Um, and we have package gas as well so and they're not that much you know if you want to get a little a block you know that 45 right there one of my favorite guns um you know 250 coins is not that much if you're lost in the woods boom you got a you got a gun and you're you're doing pretty good with a silencer too you know they're all they're all uh suppressed so that's pretty cool you got some gear sets these come in handy wherever you're at you know you always need a backpack and things like that so if you don't really like crafting you can earn a lot of coins like me Hoard a lot of money in the game, save it into your bank, use the gold card, watch your pin numbers, uh, and yeah, man, you can do good without even doing any crafting. I'm doing great. I'm pretty high up in the server, and I'm ready to start killing people. I'm a nice guy, you know? I, I want to kill people in a... I don't know. I could have killed somebody yesterday, man. We just happened to be walking past each other. We almost like freaked out. We are like, what? And I put my gun over at him, and I was like, you cool? I had my bait on him. I'm like, you cool? I got a 45 and eight clips. And I'm just uh, all armor piercing bullets, buddy. I mean, I don't want to shoot you. I just go on your way. I don't even think this guy knew how to use his mic command buttons or anything. So I was like, I'm going to turn around. You shoot me. I think it's done. Because I think he just had some kind of small little thing. So, And I was fully armored up and he didn't have shit. I mean, he was going to have to hit me a couple times and a blast. That. So anyway, I didn't have to. And most of my uh, interactions have been pretty nice. People have been like, hey, if you turn around and start walking, I won't shoot you. And I was like, all right, I'll take that deal. And they didn't shoot me. So the people in there are pretty nice. You got a couple scumbags. I've been pissed on at the, uh, at the uh, outpost. I mean, I don't want to be killed. I mean, I guess I deserve it, though. Walking around like a jackass. How you doing? Don't kill me. <laughs> He's just <in> <laughs> Don't do it. That's crazy, dude. Because I thought somebody was going to kill me, but he just took his... <laughs> That's funny. That is funny that you can actually do that in the game. So, uh, yeah, this is my um, welcome to Steam uh, uh, Scum pre-release early access. Um, it's only on PC. And I, I kind of like that, too, because, man, oh, man, this game is gorgeous. It's absolutely huge. And... It's in depth and I absolutely love it. It's got a lot of hours out of me. And if you're one of these people that can, uh, that don't need to be told what to do and you can just be dropped off and, and, and do some survival and you wanted to feel that way in a way that makes the arm hair stand up, man. Because when I hear these noises and I'm sneaking around, I'm fucking scared shitless, man. And my, my hair stand up and sometimes I want to go turn the light on and shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a manly fucking man, but the game really gets... Anyway, yeah, scum is worth it uh, if you're that type of... That's it. Hit that like and subscribe if you want to, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Call somebody and tell them that you love them. See you guys.